Hello guys, uh, there's, there's something that's been on my mind to talk about. We're going to talk about rigs, uh, in particular uh, rigs in conjunction with plastic baits. Plastic baits by the nature are quite light and basically we're all using self-hooking rigs. We're expecting the, the fish to hit the lead or to nick itself on the hook before you get your bite. You know, we're not actually fishing like where you're striking at the slightest bleeps or anything, so the rig is super critical. A lot of people say simple rigs are best, but you can do simple, but do simple rigs that are effective. And that, I'm gonna show you that this, this time. Now, this is a fairly standard kind of setup, a little bit of shrink tube as a kicker, uh, beak point hook, couple of pieces of corn. You know, it's not gonna catch your hand very good on a palm test. But what I'm going to show you is a little thing that I came up with many, many years ago called the anchor rig. And it makes a huge difference. And basically, you can get the exact rigs that you might have, 100 rigs in your, in your rig box, and you can easily adapt this. All you do is, if you've got a shrink tube on like that, is get a baiting needle, stick it sideways through the shrink tube. So it's like going crossways, like a footrest on a motorbike, if you like. So it's like that. And it's like a ship's anchor. So you've stuck the needle through, there it is. Get some stiff nylon, typically about 30 pound, 40 pound nylon. You need a piece that's about six mil long and then stick it literally through, through the shrink tube like that. So it, it's almost like a, like I said, a footrest on a motorcycle. Right, and then what you do, you get your kettle boiling, a little bit of water in it. I like these big open top kettles. Stick the rig in there, the whole lot. Let it shrink down and you can see it shrunk onto the tubing it can still move but what i tend to do is move it to the side a little bit one blob of super glue slide it back in the middle let it set and it absolutely makes no difference to the rig it's not clumsy it doesn't do anything stupid but it rears up like that like a scorpion tail and see it gripping it flips it onto the point of the hook like a ship's anchor every time so you either hook him in the top of the mouth or in the bottom lip, mostly in the bottom lip, but it, it turns a, a not so efficient rig into a super efficient rig where it's going to sit on the point of the hook and grip the fish. So it takes a lot of that guesswork away from it. You know, it's bad enough as it is fish spitting baits out, but with this, it makes a huge difference and it's ever so simple. And it's the one tip that I would do that will make a difference to your fishing. I think it's a very important little tip, so uh, give it a try, the anchor rig, all the best with it.